AutoGPT, ChatDev, AutoGen, and MetaGPT are some of the top multi-agent libraries released this year alone. Microsoft has recently launched an exciting piece of software, which is called TaskWeaver, and there is so much talk about it in AI spaces, specifically designed to allow users to turn their ideas into code with just a few commands. TaskWeaver is not just another tool. It's a complex system that interprets your commands, converts them into code, and does tasks very accurately. In this video, we will discuss what is TaskWeaver, what are the features of TaskWeaver, the differences between Autogen and TaskWeaver, and how TaskWeaver can be used to create a super AI agent. Let's dive into what is TaskWeaver. TaskWeaver is a code-first agent framework for seamlessly planning and executing data analysis tasks. This innovative framework interprets user requests through coding snippets and effectively coordinates various plugins in the form of functions to perform data analytics tasks. Essentially, TaskWeaver is a code-first agent framework. This means it takes user requests you provide in the form of code snippets and orchestrates various plugins to perform those tasks. Imagine having a virtual assistant who not only understands your requests, but also performs actions by translating your instructions into code. This is a major leap forward for developers looking to streamline their workflow and take their projects to the next level. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. So what are the features of TaskWeaver? TaskWeaver has several features that make it a powerful and flexible framework for building intelligent conversational agents. Here are some of its key features. Code first approach. TaskWeaver converts user requests into executable code, treating user defined plugins as callable functions. This approach enables seamless integration of plugin execution with custom code execution, catering to the diverse requirements of users and providing a more intuitive user experience. Support for rich data structures. TaskWeaver provides support for complex data structures, enabling users to work with data in a variety of formats and structures. Flexible plugin usage. TaskWeaver supports dynamic plugin selection, allowing users to choose which plugins to use based on their specific needs. Intelligent task planning. TaskWeaver's planner component decomposes user requests into multiple subtasks and orchestrates capabilities within TaskWeaver to complete the task and report back to the users. The planner can refine the initial plan by considering the dependencies among the subtasks. Secure code execution. TaskWeaver uses a process of code verification to ensure that the generated code conforms to predefined rules and does not violate any safety requirements. This verification process addresses safety concerns and supports plugin only mode functionality where only the plugin functions can be called and all other generated code is denied. Let's move to the workflow of TaskWeaver involves several key components and processes. Here's an overview of the workflow planner. The planner component serves as the entry point and controller of the TaskWeaver system. It receives user queries and decomposes them into multiple subtasks. These subtasks form an initial plan, which is generated based on the knowledge of large language models or enhanced by domain specific examples. Communication. The planner communicates bi-directionally with each component, sending queries and receiving responses. This communication is essential for orchestrating the capabilities within TaskWeaver to complete tasks and report back to the users. Round around in TaskWeaver commences with receiving a user request and concludes upon responding to the user. Subsequently, TaskWeaver awaits the user's next input. Typically, a session consists of numerous rounds. Post within a round, there can be several messages exchanged between planner, code generation component, and code execution component, each of which is referred to as a post. A post contains the text message, such as the request from the planner to the code generation component for code generation, and may also include other relevant information like the generated code and execution logs. State Task Weaver retains essential information throughout the conversation, known as the state or context of the Session. The state encompasses the chat history between the user and TaskWeaver, the model's internal thoughts and plans, generated code, execution results, and more. So what are the differences between Autogen and TaskWeaver? 
Autogen is a framework for generating code from natural language input using a template-based approach. It uses a set of predefined templates to generate code based on user input, and it is designed to be highly customizable, allowing developers to define their templates and customize the code generation process. Taskweaver, on the other hand, is a code-first framework for building LLM-powered autonomous agents. It converts user requests into executable code treats, user-defined plugins as callable functions, provides support for rich data structures, flexible plugin usage, and dynamic plugin selection, and leverages LLM coding capabilities for complex logic. It also incorporates domain-specific knowledge through examples and ensures the secure execution of generated code. Put simply, Autogen is a template-based code generation framework, while Taskweaver is a code-first framework for building intelligent conversational agents. If you are still curious how Taskweaver can be used to create a super AI agent, let's give an example. Suppose a user wants to analyze a data set stored in an SQL database. They want to perform some basic data processing tasks, such as filtering, sorting, and aggregating the data, and then visualize the results. User input. The user sends a natural language request to the Taskweaver conversational agent, such as I want to analyze the sales data for the past year. Task decomposition. The Taskweaver Planner component decomposes the user request into multiple subtasks, such as retrieve data from the SQL database, filter the data based on a specific condition, sort the data by a specific column, aggregate the data by a specific column, and visualize the results. Plugin Selection Taskweaver selects the appropriate plugins to execute each subtask based on the user's request and the available plugins. For example, it might use an SQL plugin to retrieve the data from the database, a Pandas plugin to filter and sort the data, and a Matplotlib plugin to visualize the results. Code Generation Taskweaver generates code for each subtask using the selected plugins and the user's input. For example, it might generate SQL code to retrieve the data, Pandas code to filter and sort the data, and Matplotlib code to visualize the results. Code Execution Taskweaver executes the generated code for each subtask and stores the results in its internal state. Response Generation Taskweaver generates a natural language response to the user based on the results of the executed code. For example, it might say, here are the sales data for the past year, filtered by region and sorted by date. The total sales for each region are as follows. Region A, $100,000. Region B, $150,000. Region C, $75,000. Would you like to see a bar chart of the sales by region? Iterative Interaction the conversation between the user and Taskweaver continues iteratively, with the user providing feedback and Taskweaver adjusting its plan and code accordingly. This is just one example of how Taskweaver can be used to create an intelligent conversational agent. The framework is highly flexible and can be customized to handle a wide range of tasks and scenarios. Let's wrap up Taskweaver offers a powerful and flexible solution for building intelligent conversational agents that can handle complex tasks and adapt to domain-specific scenarios. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.